Good to see you, fellas. Hello, Scott. Good to, Good to see you two on screen together. I, I imagine, I imagine, Gunslinger, the the Man in Black. This had to have been kind of a dream to be kind of like the Western cowboy kind of deal, and for you to be a villain, it's like dreams come true, right? Dreams come true to work yeah. with Matthew. Period. I, I was a big fan. Uh, for us to be in this time and this day and age, and I think to your point. Uh, there's a, a, an almost role reversal here. Yeah. Typically, yeah. you might cast us the other way around. Yeah. Especially considering all the literature around uh, that uh, already exists around this title. And I think it is very refreshing and a, and, a, and a beautiful statement that sitting on the opposite sides against a lovely actor, but playing the, the opposite of what one might think of, like, you know, the man mm -hmm. in black sounds like an obvious choice for me. <laughs> And the Since gun you were sticker. born in it. Exactly. <laughs> and the gun sticker, you know, cowboy, it sounds yeah. like an right. obvious, you know, but I think the, to the producer's credit, to Sony's credit, and to Nick, uh, Nick the director's credit, you know, this complete switch of that, uh, it, it wasn't even a thought, to be honest. You know, they, they, chose, they chose us uh, for our merit as actors, and then obviously our, you know, our early conversations on what we would do with the characters, you mm. know, and... Uh, that is a great moment. That is a dream come true for many reasons, not just because we're working on it, working together, but we got into a place in film where audiences can go, yeah, man. Why not? I'm, I'm happy for that. I'm yeah. happy for that ima reimagining of stereotypes or cast types. You know, I, yeah. I love that. It's a good time.